Uh, but anyway, but uh, you know, I like the the t-shirt module. So you know, still in campaign. So we can sort 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 buy all these different things, um, and uh, also pop that again. Um, you can do a niche comparison. Um, so I want you to know if uh, oh, it's gone anyway. Never mind. Uh, I want you to know if um, obviously you know there might be different spellings which might you know alter the thing, but I wanted to know which was more popular, you know, grandpas, grandmas, or daughters. Um, and this will tell you, strangely, amazingly. Um, and it doesn't take too long, it just seems like a long time, when you're waiting for it to come up in the middle of a screen grab video. Uh, but obviously it's looking at all those campaigns, all that data, uh, and there we go. Okay, so, we can see, there are the terms, uh, we can see that you know people are most active in grandma. Uh, we can see the most sales have been in daughter though. Okay, grandpa, which I thought was supposed to be a popular niche, is not nearly as popular as grandma uh, or daughters. Except uh, some interesting things here. So the number of sales per campaign, daughters uh, outselling uh, grandma to almost two to one. Um, Although there are more campaigns in grandma and grandpa, daughters, you know, still that. Um, the most sales above zero were grandma, but, uh, where is it? Yeah, the most, uh, over a hundred sales was in granddaughter. Okay, <laughs> so really it'd be better to have a total figure there, really, wouldn't it? Because it's a bit confusing, but, um... Yeah, they've sold uh, most. Uh, they, they've sold the most, you know, large campaigns. And I said, I'm not phrasing that in regular English. Uh, but also the other thing you can. It's interesting. Is that that's the that's the niche with the most shares, okay? Not likes. The one with the most likes are grandmas. So grandmas are cute and they like, whatever. Or people like grandmas, whatever. Um, but it's the when they're sharing it, they're most active. And also when they're commenting the most, obviously they're the most engaged. So I mean, from that we can see that. Although people like grandma stuff, you know, they're kind of like just head nodding, um, not really interested. Whereas these people in, grand in daughters are engaged, uh, you know. Um, and, oh, there's the total. Actually, that's, just, that's confusing. I don't even know what that means. Uh, there's not, no tweeting going on with those, apparently. Uh, but this one's also interesting as well, which is the number of shares per, per campaign. And we can actually see that. Um, that grandpa and grandmas aren't really being shared, uh, whereas people are, and it's not huge, but you know, people are at least sharing the daughter ones, um, and the same thing with the comments. And again, likes, although it's you know higher, it doesn't matter because the most sales were coming from uh, from daughter. Okay, so you know you can see instantly. Um, so the graphs aren't particularly useful, are they? But but you can see from the figures. Um, yeah, which is which are the most performing and why they're the most performing and you know, which they're the most uh, engaged about. So you could do different you know categories of dogs or different you know things about dogs and see what was uh, what was doing. So that's all under the cam the t-shirt module. So I think that's pretty pretty spiffing really. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. Anyway, and then with e-commerce, uh, you know you've got all the major platforms. So Shopify, if you if you don't get the uh, OTO one, um, but we can see uh, how many visits they had, what ranks they have, you know, what uh, where they rank uh, globally, uh, and we can look at their stats. Uh, I don't know what stats they show us. Uh, obviously, they take a similar web. That's interesting. Um, so we can see, yeah, all this, all the stuff about them. Then, so you know, America and where they get their traffic from, mainly social. Um, not enough data there. Yeah, anyway, so you can get all of that courtesy of similar web. So they're linking into that. Um, and if it was interesting, then then you can bookmark it um, in your uh, in your own little area. Uh, I don't know what make a shed was. Is that about making a shed? No. What's it called? Make a shed then. Make a shed. Make a shed. Uh well, I call it a gadget shop. But anyway. Anyway, so they're doing pretty well. Um, 
and they do gadgets all sorts of gadgets um, so that's interesting uh, but let's say uh, well let's see if we can uh, do the music or something so this is actually searching within the Shopify database hopefully with that top one and searches the whole um, Shopify system Okay, so here are the, the music ones. Um, so the most uh, popular you know, music one is there, so we can see what's going on. Um, so holocaustic music, I didn't even know that was the thing. Um, shoreline music, that's obviously sounds like a company. Um, yeah, there we go. That's quite nice. Oh, and they sell strings and stuff like that. Oh, it's a music shop. Okay, so that's great. Um, so we could do, you know, some more stuff on that, but they're doing pretty well, so let's uh, keep that in interest. Um, and obviously we could look at them on Shopify and see how they're achieving, you know, what they're doing. So they're in the kind of top one million. Uh, yeah, get 15,000 a month, which is pretty respectful little thingy. They're very American based. I don't know why that's rejoining itself all the time. Um, and we can see that they mainly get their traffic from people who know who they are already, 4% uh, social, not much emailing, but it may just because it's not tracked, uh, but only 20% of it is from uh, organic search, so I don't know why it keeps me drawn, I think it's because I've got the screen shrunk for the video. Uh, we can see wh who's backlinking to them, uh, yeah, all that sort of stuff. Um, uh, obviously you get more detail with the paid version, which is quite expensive, but anyway. But yeah, the free stuff's pretty, pretty good. Um, and yeah, we can see that 16% of their traffic there is uh, from um, search, and then 4% of it is probably PPC. If it would stay there long enough, we'd be able to see it, I guess. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, paid keywords. Yeah. So it looks like the banjo. I don't know why that's rejoining. Anyway, that's a similar web mucking about, not uh, not this. Uh, anyway, so we can see you know what's going on in the niche, uh, and we can see you know right at the other end of the thing. So, you know, the worst performing site is uh, this one, who actually get nothing. So, I don't know what they're not doing, um, but they're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that they'd sell that much anyway. Uh, they look like a kind of a, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm calling it? Historic shop. Uh, anyway, a memorabilia, that sort of thing. Um, Anyway, but they're not doing something, um, they're not doing something, so they're not getting any Shopify action. Um, so, that's a bit sad. Uh, actually, same with a lot of these people as well. Okay, so they all need a bit of help by the look of it. Well, okay. Yeah, it's about there. Uh, so, Africa Music by getting 40 visits. Um, a month is that? Um, so he needs some help as well. So anyway, uh, again, don't know what he's not doing, but he's not doing it anyway. Um, so it could be that just African music doesn't sell, which I don't believe, uh, or it's just he's not very good at it. So there might be some other, um, because it might not be called African music, might it? But anyway, uh, no, okay. Okay, so a uh, lot of interest in flowers apparently. Uh, African music buyer, that was the guy we saw. Um, African everything, the oh, so uh, so so Africa. Anyway, I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> African African shop dot com. Okay, <laughs> he was obviously a bit uh, rushed when he did his domain name. Anyway. Um, so anyway, so that's them, uh, and then uh, we could look at Store Envy and see uh, if they do better uh, for music. Um, and so I don't click search. There. So uh, we could sort of different things on the trending one. So the trending one probably gives a lot of good information as well. But um, yeah, so they're doing very well. Colourful dolphin 
Oh, my looking for music. Uh, oh, music pillow. P oh, I see. Uh, okay. Anyway, so this dolphin sounding pillow is doing well. Um, that's obviously music related with David Barry, not necessarily uh, uh, the actual music. Um, yeah, it's a lot of music, ab music abelia, if that's even a word. Uh, not much actual music, swagger music. Uh, if that's got music in it. Uh, maybe they do. Mm, don't know. Anyway, um, maybe. Uh, but they haven't, they're not doing well anyway, so I don't know why I checked that out. Um, but we can see, you know, out of these, uh, that it's Music of Elia that's uh, selling. 64 there. Uh, I think they're going to be the winners. 27 is not bad. 64. Well, yeah, it's the, it's the Dolphin. Well, and that, actually. Uh, no, that one. The dolphin is the thing that's you know selling quite crazy, but I think that's because it's a dolphin, not because it's a, uh, a musical pillow. But anyway, but it is musical pillow as well. Um, and uh, I need a known. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to bookmark that in case I want a musical dolphin later on. Um, <laughs> yeah, know. Uh, and let's see if we can, uh, yeah, we can search out, see and all that. So let's just go back to our face cloth thing that we did in the other video, and let's just see how much face cloth action there is now. Um, okay, it's not it's taking the uh, the two words separately. Um, I wonder if we can do quotes. No, okay. So, I mean, we actually found a crocheted face cloth uh, on our own. Uh, there we go. And that was the one we found, in fact. So, so they do that one there. Uh, so, we could bookmark that. We could have a look at it. Uh, they do some tea towels. Not quite what we wanted. Um, so, we can see there's not a huge amount of face cloths uh, on Etsy. A face makeup bag, that's quite funny. That's quite good. <laughs> it's bizarre. I quite like that too, actually. Anyway, um, and... You know, we, we can see what other things are there. Uh, there's a lot of moisturiser and stuff going on, for the look of it. Um, it's not surprising. Let's see one more. Yeah, lots of moisturiser. Okay, so that's that. Um, and, you know, there's the one we found earlier. Uh, you know, this amount of comments, good ranking. Don't know how many they've sold. Um, oh, there, there are other tags. Interesting. Um, but uh, we could probably find a figure on them somehow, somewhere. Um, but there's only one on Etsy, so it's not exactly that popular. Uh, so we could also look at the other places. Um, Okay, so this is what's happening on one of those. Again, we can, you know, sort by uh, how many people have saved it. That'd be a good indication because that's on their wish list. Then, so a lot of people are wishing for these, uh, and then not a lot of people wishing for these. So, you know, you can uh, oh, guitar picks are being wished for. Okay, um, it's, you think you just go buy a guitar pick? How much are they? Oh, they're for about forty-nine. How much are they? What well, I mean, what are they? Is it for one? Hmm. Well, I don't know why. I don't know what's special about that. Uh, maybe it's the band or anything. I don't know. Anyway. People are wanting it. Uh, and I don't know why it's so expensive. Um, anyway, but you can see that people are, you know, putting it on their wish list. Uh, there, uh, Polyvore, let's have a look at that, because I've never looked at that either. Uh, oh, it's not going to come up on its own, alright, so let's do... Um, uh, 
<coughs> it's too lotion or something. I should have probably done handbag or shoes or something. I think this is a fashion site, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, so lotion dispensers and all that sort of stuff. That's quite good. All pretty expensive and all that sort of thing. Um, so that's uh, that's good. Um, and again, we can see if people are liking it or not. Uh, so they're liking this classy looking one there. And the other one's not so liked so if you're going to do a hand pump it should be a classy one it's plain simple classy one something that looks expensive basically um, and uh, I don't know if there'll be any surprises with uh, eBay but um, yeah we can search all of that um, and again Importantly, I mean, obviously pricing it could be interesting, but uh, you know the number of sales. Obviously, that's great. Um, so, phone covers are going like crazy, uh, and people are bookmarking covers as well. Okay, um, so that's good. So, what else are people hoping for? Uh, lots of book cover, um, phone cover uh, action. How many, how many phone covers are there? I think it's a world of phone covers. Okay, but if we search for, um, well, obviously we could do a different category, uh, but we could do a keyword. So if I do lotion, let's see if anything is selling good on lotion. Okay, so what are we doing sales? Yeah, so it's blimey. Uh so it sold ten thousand units previously and sixteen hundred people have got it bookmarked. Uh yeah, right now. And uh and I don't even know what it is, but uh, we can go look it out look it up and stuff. Um and yeah, we can see all the figures for this uh as well. So that's all pretty good. I mean, obviously this information is on eBay, but you don't get it in a nice sortable list like this. And with pictures as well. Um, so that's good. Uh, so similar thing, uh, you know, with uh, Amazon. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen this one yet. It may or may not be better than, uh, you know, Amazon itself. Let's see, sorry, this is going on a bit, but uh, yeah, if you want to see inside it, this is inside it. Um, so you see, it's very comprehensive. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, the t shirt thing on its own is worth it. Um, I think you'll like the SEO one in a minute when that happens. Uh, but you know, being able to see you on all the platforms what's the best selling, um, you know, physical products, uh, you know, to inspire for your own store. Obviously, this is why we're having this conversation. Okay, so obviously, a lot of data on Amazon. It's having to uh, work that out. Also, probably thousands of people are now buying it, so uh, it's uh, probably slowing up a teeny bit. So I didn't I change browsers. I didn't bring that back down. There we go. Uh, if it doesn't come up, I'll move on. I'll move on. Uh, anyway, so we looked at uh, AliExpress. Uh, uh, sorry, at Shopify. So let's look at AliExpress. So let's <laughs> let's try see if we can locate a face cloth. Um, maybe they'll be better at it. Okay, so again, it's taken the two words separately again. Uh, so what's this one? Hand car cloth towel. Yeah. Uh, baby feeding towels. Close-ish. Um, yeah, they said a real trouble just doing face cloth. Uh, baby towels. Sunglasses for the face word. Um, not really a great source of face cloth, is it, really? Um, so Star Wars. That's quite interesting. It's nothing to do with the uh, what we were looking for, but that's what happens. Sometimes you just get a inspired by something else. Uh, lots of sunglasses. Lots and lots of sunglasses. Well. Um, so, but anyway, but you can see, uh, you know, 
next to it what the uh, you know what the sales have been. Uh, I don't know what the other figure is. Twenty. Uh, it might be comments, is it? Or reviews or something? Might be comments or reviews. Not I'm not obviously sure. I have to look at the training video. Uh, but I presume that's um, comments or reviews, and then the number of orders right there. So they're obviously selling very well. These particular sunglasses, uh, seven fifty a piece. Uh, so we might put one on that. Um, Yeah, so the other ones, the star disappeared, so that confused me. Um, anyway, so that's the e-commerce module. Uh, and then on YouTube, uh, you know, similar sort of thing uh, that, that, you know, you might expect. But, you know, you could check a particular, um, uh, you know, video for a particular number of keywords. So that's quite nice. You can see how far down you want to go. Um, you can do keyword research. So if you want to know... Uh, 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 what was that other thing we saw today? Um, I'll just put in face lotion. I've no idea what's going to happen. Um, so we can do positive, you know, uh, positive or negative uh, keyword filtering. Um, we could actually put minimum uh, things in there. And oh, this is with the keywords uh, that they're going to bring back. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's just see what happens. So in terms of you know face, I should have probably just put face in. Um, you can see, uh, you know, you get all these ideas back. Okay, um, best face lotion for men. Okay, uh, Dove for the brand. Uh, Men's Science, I guess that's a brand. Um, so uh, oily skin, dry skin. Uh, I don't know what dub face button is. Um, face lotion for men. So let's have a look at that one. And there we are. Do we get a little thumbnail? Oh, I'm not get a little thumbnail. Oh, well, OK. Uh, maybe they'll add that. Uh, but we can see out of these videos, uh, again, we can sort by yeah, whatever we want. Uh, but I'm going to do it by comments, I think. So the one, the most common video is this one. OK, so... Uh, relaxing face and scalp massage. So that's doing very well. That's a good thing. And they've had uh, 1.8 million views. Wow, uh, on that. Um, so we can't bookmark that, unfortunately, apparently. But that's good. That's good to know. Um, so let's do. Uh, Oh, actually, that was the search bit. Yeah, okay. So uh, if we could now go back and do research on face lotion for men and see what is related to that. So there we go. And then we could see the videos in that. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and then in SEO, uh, so instead of having to go to whatever, again, you can do it by particular country or all countries. Um, and we could see what's going on and oh, I, don't know. I don't know they put that in so if you're trying to if you want to do um, keyword rich domain you can then you know check your domain availability for it but anyway so here's all the Google uh, ideas uh, facial moisturizer so this is what they come up with so that's good and again we can see uh, you yeah, know the maximum number of monthly searches we can sort by that uh, we could sort by the, the bid price so if people are wanting to pay um, it's a bit ridiculous uh, ten dollars sixty three for best face moisturizer okay wow um, so we could uh, yeah um, do that and let's say uh, yeah we could filter that down uh, let's put in it. Um, let's do definitely over fifty Let's do over a dollar actually. So anything people are willing to pay over one dollar fifty, I guess actually, for that, uh, which has got at least a thousand searches a month. Uh, I don't really care about that. And then we can see we've got one page of those, seventeen entries. Uh, again, we can sort by any of those, but you know, we know we can see if there's any exact match domains uh, for it. So the com's gone, but it looks like the dot net and the org are available for skincare for men. Dot org, I guess. Wow. 
you'd think that might have gone, wouldn't you? But anyway, um, I guess one of you guys are going to go and nick that now. Um, anyway, so that's there. Um, and, you know, there's a couple of uh, comms, although that's not really good English, is it? Men face care. Let's be really, that's a bit too long. But, um, yeah, face moisturizers for men. That's potentially, you yeah, know, maybe. Uh, anyway, but so you can check your domain names there. And also, uh, you know, uh, you can just filter by, you know, particular, cr you know, criteria. Um, you know, that you want, but, you know, you can sort by, uh, you know, the value of stuff. But, you know, people are apparently willing to pay £3.28 for skincare for men, um, which I'm not surprised at, really. Okay, so if we do the keyword suggest now, um, okay, we could do uh, skincare or something. Uh, you can search on all these different... Uh, Engines, uh, you know, to see what they're doing. Maybe they'll add a click all button. Maybe they don't want us to. Uh, skin care, let's see what that's doing. Um, so it's going to blink a few times as it does each uh, service, I think, is what happens. Um, so let's see what's happening. Okay, that should be it. Uh, so let's just see. Okay, Lana's coming up a lot. Um, let's sort that down. All right, retinol. Okay, so we can see what that's about. And there we go. Uh, so there's two monthly searches, 18 per thing. Uh, I don't know why I think that's one word. Anyway, um, so we can see it's very low um, demand and low value, um, but you know, retinol may be very important. I don't know, but anyway, but you can, you know, you get uh, you know leads and links to to see what's going on, uh, you know. But I would have known skincare would have been particularly you know gift sets recommended by a dermatologists. So obviously that's uh, it should be an obvious one, but I hadn't thought of it. Um, Palm Basil has got some significant uh, Wendy significant. Um, Skincare for men is obviously quite popular. It's, you know, it's not just a women thing. Um, skincare equipment. Okay, interesting. Um, how popular is that? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's wait for it to come up. I imagine 5,000 people are all using it at once right now because it's just launched. If it doesn't come, I'm not that worried right now. I just wanted to know if it was popular. And... No, I'm not going to wait for that. Okay, so we'll, well, that'll be a mystery you can find out on your own. Uh, you can do backlink checker. So that it does actually... Um, you can put your free Moz API in there and uh, I presume that's where that's coming from, so you can see how they're getting all their traffic and everything. Uh, and then finally, I think it's finally, uh, the PPC text ads. Um, you know, again, you can, uh, you know, search for different things. Um, uh, let's just see if anybody's advertising any of grandpas. I don't know why they would, but maybe they are. Um, yeah, grandpa clothing, okay. Uh, so shop for 11, Target R and Pronto R, okay, interesting. And let's just see what people are doing on Google. But no one on Google. Right, so that's interesting. So people are being more um, adventurous on uh, Bing and Yahoo. Um, called Grandpa Stuff. Uh, so that's good. Um, obviously there's uh, some sort of support mechanism, so that's good. And there we are. So now I've bookmarked some stuff. We can go back to bookmarks and you can see that the only ideas I've had about T-shirts or anything that I've seen on Shopify that interests me, any products I've you know, shortlisted on AliExpress. Um, I didn't do any on on, uh, on those, I don't think. Uh, I did the Dolphin Pillow <laughs> speaker, Pillow Dolphin music thing um, under Store Envy. 
Okay, but you know, you can see there's a lot of detail, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you know, they'll take you how to go through each of the, uh, you know, the modules, whatever you want to call these. I guess they're calling them the modules. Um, and, you know, you can, you know, find out what's going on out there, what's popular, what isn't popular, uh, and, you know, possibly then, you know, go on to find out how they're, you know, achieving it. So, like, you know, that, uh, uh, the, um, Forces t-shirt, uh, with the, uh, I should have bookmarked that, did I not bookmark that? With the um, night on it. Uh, I didn't bookmark that for some stupid reason. Anyway, our Crusaders thing. Um, yeah, we don't know wh how he's getting his traffic. We know it's selling like you know crazy, uh, but we don't know why, uh, how he's getting the traffic. Uh, I forgot what the other word now. Crusader something. Um, so we could find that by some other means. Um sure it's called Crusader something. Okay, well let's go back to um just very quickly. Uh T shirt over here there it was. So it was this one. Yeah. Oh that's why I didn't bookmark it then because there isn't an actual bookmarky thing. Uh, for that, um, so I guess I can search for no, not there. Um, well, we did actually have a look at it in the Facebook tool, didn't we? But, um Uh, it doesn't really matter, but um, just trying to think how we would. Do that anyway. Uh, anyway, not to worry. Um, we'll just write down a bit of paper. But yeah, we can see that, you know, that it's there, but we don't know why he's doing that well. So we could, you know, go find that out uh, via some other means. Uh, but, you know, a lot of information there. Uh, One-time fee, not recurring. Um, as you can see, it's pretty quick, uh, you know, overall. Uh, you know, we only had a couple of delays, but as I say, it's going to be mass uh, panic mode at the moment while everybody buys it and plays with it. Um, and uh, one-time fee, and you get all that data. And, you know, an awful lot of, um, you know, uh, e-commerce data um, in there uh, and you can see uh, you know with store envy uh, you know which are the most wish listed products um, they're not in order apparently but um, oh maybe they're going order downwards oh they're going order downwards um, so these are becoming more popular as they go down the down the thing so you can see, you know, what's, um, oh, that's quite nice. That's pretty cheap, isn't it? Uh, anyway, but you can see, um, you know, what's, uh, what people are liking at the moment. Um, and, uh, and there we go. So that's it. See you then. Bye for now. So I suppose I should just mention again, uh, if you want to get that tool, it's uh, on uh, clickjustclick.com slash Austin SpyFi. Okay, A U S T I N S P Y F Y. Okay, and, and uh, uh, I probably mentioned it in the email, uh, but the bonus from me, uh, if you buy it through that link, uh, is going to be uh, what you most requested in the survey we did yesterday, uh, which is basically going to be the product detail. So I haven't got anything to show you uh, on that, but basically it's a wizard where you it will ask you certain questions, you put in the words, and then it will give you um, a, a kind of optimised description. Well, not optimised, it will give you a description uh, at the end of it. It will need some cleaning up with the English, um, because obviously it's not you know, a complete grammar uh, tool. Um, but it will put it all together for you, and it's going to put it together to make sure you haven't missed anything. Um, 
and that it's got the basic form of something that would sell um, so you don't have to you know, worry about all that and it'll be a very simple wizard um, to do it in now if I run out of time uh, it's going to basically be a uh, you know d a document a slideshow um, thing and you can you know fill in your own notepad from the options uh, but what I'm planning to do what I'm hoping to do uh, you know tonight is to or starting tonight and probably finishing in tomorrow is to do a uh, online version uh, which will give you the uh, text copy and paste text and the options that you need uh, will just be there um, in a kind of a database as well and so you tell you you know what kind of thing you want uh, you click the button it'll give you a list of the options and then you pick the option you want and it will pop it into your description and then you do the next bit and so on and also uh, if I could do that I'm probably going to you know, update it and keep it um, fresh with new kind of uh, you know sales and marketing and copywriting kind of uh, you know versions and you know spread it uh, out some more okay so that's about it so that's it if you want the tool uh, you'll get that bonus the product uh, writer um, description writer I should call it I suppose I don't know what the name of the thing's going to be and uh, if you want it click just click dot com slash Austin spy fi okay S P Y F Y not to be confused with spy foo of course which is obviously what Austin was thinking about <laughs> anyway <laughs> um, that's it I think it's pretty comprehensive I, you know one time fee I don't think you can go wrong um, amount of data is uh, pretty incredible um, you know from all those places never seen at all with so many uh, platforms that it uh, uh, you know gets data from anyway that's it bye for now